hello everyone welcome to another video of ns pharma today we will see respiratory system from pharmacology important 20 multiple choice questions these questions are very important especially for those who is preparing for the exams like gpat government pharmacist exams in different states central government pharmacist exams prometric exam etc so let us start hello everyone welcome to ns pharma youtube channel for pharmacist if you like the video please make thumbs up and click the subscribe button and bell button for notification. Important points to study in this unit. Before starting MCQ, I will tell you what are the important points to study in this respiratory system. First one is classification of drugs used for the cough. You have to study the classification of drugs for cough. Next one, drugs classification used for the asthma. And the last point, mechanism of action of methyl sandins. These three points are very important in this respiratory system. So let us start the MCQ. The first question, bromhexin is bromhexin is option a antitussive option b bronchial secretion enhancer option c mucolytic and the last option antihistamine bromhexin is if you know the classification of drugs used for the cough you can answer this question the correct answer is mucolytic bromhexin is a mucolytic the second question to be a useful inhaled glucocorticoid the drug should have to be a useful inhaled glucocorticoid the drug should have high oral availability oral bioavailability low oral bioavailability additional bronchodilator activity pro drug character The correct answer low oral bioavailability for the inhalation you need low oral bioavailability character the third question budisonide is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that is nsid high serine diuretic inhaled glucocorticoid sorry inhaled corticosteroid for asthma and option d contraceptive the correct answer is option C inhaled corticosteroid for asthma. Budisonide is a corticosteroid using for asthma. Examples for mucokinetic. So you have to note down the difference between mucokinetics and mucolytics. Mucolytics are coming under mucokinetics. Okay, here the options are ambroxol, codeine. Gofenazine. and the last option both A and C. Ambroxol, codeine, gofenazine, and both A and C. Mucokinetics, the correct answer is both A and C. Ambroxol is all ambroxol and gofenazine are coming under mucokinetics. Question number five. The following anti asthma drug is not a bank bronchodilator. anti asthma drug which is not a bronchodilator option a protropium bromide option b theophylline option c formatrol option d sodium chromoglycolate glycate correct answer sodium chromoglycate which is not a bronchodilator which is using for the asthma the most prominent and dose related side effect of salbutamol 
द मेन साइड अफेक्ट डोस रिलेटेड ऑफ सैलबुटामोल राइस इन ब्लड प्रेशर मसल ट्रमर हाइपर ग्लाइसीमिया सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम स्टिमुलेशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज मसल ट्रमर सैलबुटामोल डोस रिलेटेड साइड इफेक्ट इज मसल ट्रमर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन सेलेक्ट द फास्टेस्ट एक्टिंग इन हेल्ड ब्रोंगो डायरेक्टर फास्टेस्ट एक्टिंग ब्रोंगो डायरेक्टर इप्रोट्रोपियम फॉर्मेट्रोल साल्ब्यूटामोल साल्मेट्रोल सेलेक्ट द फास्टेस्ट एक्टिंग इन हेल्ड ब्रोंगो डायरेक्टर ऑप्शन ए इप्रोट्रोपियम ऑप्शन बी फॉर्मेट्रोल ऑप्शन सी साल्ब्यूटामोल and option d salmetrol the correct answer is salbutamol option c is the correct answer omalizumab is anti ige antibody anti igg antibody anti iga antibody and anti igm antibody omalizumab is used for the treatment of asthma which is anti ige antibody Option A is the correct answer. And the IgE antibody, omelizumab. Next question. Methyl xanthines exert the following actions at cellular or molecular level. Methyl xanthine exert the following actions at cellular or molecular level. Intracellular release of calcium ion. Antagonism of adenosine. Inhibition of phosphodiesterase, all of these. What is the mechanism of action of methyl xanthines? That's the question. Intracellular release of calcium ion, antagonism of adenosine, inhibition of phosphodiesterase, all of the above. The correct answer is option D, all of the above. It will exert the all three actions. Next question. Question number 11. Relatively higher dose of theophylline is required to attain therapeutic plasma concentration in smokers, congestive heart failure patient, those receiving erythromycin, those receiving cimetidine. Relatively higher dose of theophylline is required to attain therapeutic plasma concentration in Smokers, congestive heart failure patients, those receiving erythromycin, those receiving cimetidine. The correct answer is smokers. In smokers, need they need higher dose of theophylline compared to a normal pupil. Next question, question number 12. Albuterol is option is salmetrol. Option B is albutamol, option C is formatrol, option D is bambutrol. Albutrol, albutrol is the synonym of which of the following? The correct answer is salbutamol. Option B is the correct answer. Next question, which of the following drugs inhibit theophylline metabolism and rises its plasma concentration? Which of the following drugs inhibit theophylline metabolism and rises its plasma concentration? Option A, phenytoin. Option B, ciprofloxacin. Option C, levofloxacin. And option D, rifampicin. Correct answer is ciprofloxacin. Option B. This is enzyme inhibition coming under the section. Enzyme inhibition. Next question, question number 14. Select the anti-asthma drug which cannot be administered by inhalation. Select the anti-asthma anti drug which cannot be administered by inhalation. Theophylline, ipratrobium bromide, budisonide and terbutari. The correct answer is theophylline. Option A, theophylline is the correct answer which we cannot administer by inhalation. Question number 15. Mondilocast produces the following actions in bronchial asthma patient. Bronchodilation, suppression of bronchial hyperactivity, uh, stabilization of mast cell, both A and B. Bronchodilation, 
suppression of uh, bronchial hyperreactivity, stabilization of mast cells. What is the mechanism of Mondi Ducast? The correct answer is both A and B. Question number 16. Sodium chromoglycate has a role in the treatment of following conditions except chronic bronchial asthma, chronic urticaria, chronic allergic rhinitis, chronic allergic conjunctivitis. Sodium chromoglycol has role in the treatment of following conditions except correct answer is chronic urticaria. Option B. In all other cases that is for chronic bronchial asthma and the chronic allergic rhinitis as well as chronic allergic conjunctivitis, you, we can use the sodium chromoglycate chromoglycate as the as for the treatment. Next question, question number 17. Destromethorphan is an analgesic antidepressive, expectorant, antihistaminic. Destromethorphan is an analgesic, antihistaminic, expectorant, antihistaminic. The correct answer is antihistaminic. Question number 18. Antihistaminic acts by liquefying bronchial secretions, rising the threshold of a cuff center, reducing cuff-inducing impulses from the lungs. Both B and C are correct. Correct answer for antidepressive action is both B and C are correct. That is, it is acting by rising the threshold of a cuff center as well as reducing the cuff indulging impulse from the lungs. Second last question. One of the most common side effect of inhaled beclomethasone depropionate. One of the most common side effect of inhaled beclomethasone depropionate is Pneumonia, oropharyngeal candidiasis, atrophic rhinitis, pituitary adrenal suppression. The correct answer is oropharyngeal candida candidiasis. That's why doctors are saying you have to wash your mouth after using inhalation. Last question, the 20th question, bronchodilation is caused by PDE3 inhibition, PDE4 inhibition, PDE5 inhibition, PD, both B and C. Phosphodiesterase 3 inhibition, Phosphodiesterase 4 inhibition, Phosphodiesterase 5 inhibition. The correct answer is both B and C. PDE4 and PDE5 inhibition can result in the bronchodilation. Thank you very much for watching this video as well as uh, thank you for watching this video and if you didn't subscribe and allow my channel please subscribe and also press the bell button for the notification. Thank you.